with another video that's major what's good with my ragers it's your boy rage man ridge here with another video for y'all on this great saturday uh afternoon man in an hour i'm headed to the season finale of the uh NCAA women's volleyball team, the Missouri State Bears, season finale. You know what I'm saying, man. They have they have a winning record. They uh one of the great programs in NCAA women's volleyball. They been having a winning record for the past 22 seasons, but unfortunately they won't be eligible to compete in the Missouri Valley Conference. This is because uh. This is due to some previous NCAA violations uh, that was committed by their previous coach. They had a, they've had a brand new coach for this season and last season. So, uh, you know, if you wanna, but this ain't what that. This is not what the. This is not what the video about. So, uh, I'll put the link to that specific story and my professional website link in the description below if you wanna see what happened with the team. These past two years since I've been recovering them, so uh, I got a bunch of like dozens of stories, and you can see the growth in my writing too if you want to check that out. So that's gonna be in the description. Um, uh, yeah, man. So if y'all have been hip on the uh, recent events, the current events that's been surrounding the past couple of days, you know that it's been three major topics in the uh in the united states news right now at least on the internet um you'll know that the kyle rittenhouse verdict you'll know about the kyle rittenhouse verdict you'll know about kamala harris gaining temporary power from president joe biden now those things are very very uh, relative to a lot of the themes that I'm going to be talking about on my channel. So, because of that, I will be making videos on them at a later date. Uh, but there's another highlighted topic I wanted to talk about today. So, let's get into it, man. And I'm going to read this article for y'all, man. I forgot my laptop pulled up. We're going to be real, real nice and fluent for y'all. So here's everything we need to know about the death of young Dolph. This is coming from Fox 13 in Memphis. Three independent law enforcement sources confirmed to Fox 13 that young rapper young Dolph was shot and killed in Memphis West Wednesday afternoon. Maurice Hill, the owner of the shop where the shooting happened, Makita's Butter Cookies, told Fox 13 his employees said Young Dolph, 36, walked into the store to buy cookies. Someone then drove up, drove up and shot and killed him at the South Memphis Bakery. Shortly before 5 p.m., Memphis police released preliminary information about the shooting. Officer said, officer said the investigation is pointing to Young Dolph being the victim, but they said identification process has not been completed. Fox obtained pictures of suspect shooters, two people who stood outside Makita's and opened fire. So uh, I'm going to put the link of this story in the description as well if I haven't seen the uh pictures yet i'm pretty sure you have but if you want to read this article i'm gonna put it in the description too one suspect holds what appears to be a semi-automatic rifle the other aims a handgun into the bakery memphis police said the shooters pulled up in a white two-door mercedes benz before running past young Dolph's car and shooting into the cookie shop Police called the shooting senseless and said, "Oh how, oh how, ah, damn!" I said fluent. You know, we we mess up. <laughs> said our hearts, our hearts go out to the Thornton family and all who were affected by this horrific act of violence. The release closed by saying officers are committed to working to curb these type of incidents. 
Back on the scene, hundreds of people flocked to the area as headlines broke across the world. Tensions flared and raw emotion spilled over. People lay on the ground crying. Some onlookers called for an end to gun violence and, and peace. Others cursed and expressed anger at the loss of the Memphis icon. Chaos broke out at times. A car with a man inside apparently sh shot and drove into the crime scene. That man was taken away on a stretcher by paramedics. For hours, police worked to push the crowd back from the scene while trying to make sense of the tragic death. Airways Boulevard, a major street in Memphis, was shut down during the course of the investigation. The Memphis rap legend was no stranger was no stranger to the bakery. A week before being shot to death, young Dolph was there spreading love and promoting the business. His camouflage Corvette sat in the back of the parking lot of the bakery when Fox 13 crews arrived. Hours later, it was told videos of the car went viral on TikTok and was taken by the as it was taken by the police. Hundreds of people in the comments asking for answers. The day after Young Dolph was gunned down inside of the bakery, a, mem a memorial popped up as fans contributed as paid tribute to the rapper. Stuffed animals, balloons, and candles, and a dolphin sign hung around the cookie shop Thursday afternoon. Fox 13 spoke to people from as far as away as Michigan who came to pay respects to the rapper. Around 3.30 p.m., a man was shot near the memorial, police said. The Memphis Police Department said the shooting happened at the Family Dollar right next door to the cookie shop. Three people were detained in connection to that shooting, according to police, and the man was not critically injured in the shooting. On Thursday, as Makita's cookies sat boarded up, the community of Memphis rally to support the local bake shop named after a seven-year-old girl who died of le leukemia tammy sawyer took to twitter to support the business cash app donations to the bakery can be made to the owner pamela hill directly at dollar sign cookie queen 99. rio memphis chef kelly english also voiced his support saying that $1 from each dessert order received from Thursday to Sunday night will go towards Makita's cookies. The Legacy of Young Dolph The rapper whose real name is Adolph Robert Thornton Jr. is well known in the Memphis community. Young Dolph began his getting national attention in 2014 with the release of his mixtape, High Class Street Music 4, and the single Preach. In 2016, he released his debut album, King of Memphis. The rap released behind hits such as On the River, Cut It, Get Paid, and Major. Young Dolph is well known for handing out turkeys around Thanksgiving in Memphis through Memphis Athletic Ministries Charity, speaking to school children and donating more money to his former high school, Hamilton High School. Hamilton High School knows him well, including students that attend now they say they found out about rapper young death over social media julian paris fox 13 reports young Dolph was reportedly on his on his way to pass out turkeys immediately after stopping at the cookie store he also had plans to pass out turkeys at saint james missionary baptist church memphis this friday between two and five Yes, that would be yesterday. Shortly after news broke, people took to Twitter to share what young what young Dolph meant to them. Coach Deion Sanders turned to faith on the tragedy. T turned to faith on the day of tragedy. Lord, please come over the entire young Dolph family, friends, and loved ones. We thank you in advance, Lord, in Jesus' name, Amen. Coach Prime. Rapper Gucci Man says his house. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to skip that. Young Dolph leaves behind his family, including his cousin, fellow Memphis rapper Key Glock, 
Fox 13 has learned that law enforcement, including gang units, are heavily involved in the preparation of any retaliation shootings. So, I'm pretty sure y'all already knew about that, man, but I just wanted to give y'all a, a more thorough uh, assessment of what happened because because that's who that's who I am. Shit, that's who I am. That's what I want to do. So, compared to the others. So, uh, another thing I wanted to say, I wanted to say this before I read the article, but I went straight into it. Uh, I would be lying if I said I was a heavy listener of Young Dolph's music. I definitely have some of his songs in my playlist for sure. Some of those songs that was just listed as one of some of his biggest hits and more, but I wasn't a heavy listener to him. So I just thought that had to be said so I can, uh, so I can, uh, add some more stable and uh objectiveness to my opinion on this whole situation so uh one of the first things i wanted to say about this man was it like they already said like the article already said it's tragic man it's tragic not just because it's more black on black crime that's that's terrible every day we see this every day and it's it's terrible we already know it's terrible so uh not only just that but people lost a family member people lost a father people lost a son people lost a brother people lost a cousin people lost a nephew people lost a friend a lot of people don't really understand the gravity of somebody being murdered because we so desensitized to it. When somebody is murdered, murdered specifically, when someone specifically, when someone murders someone, you know what I'm trying to say, I just, ugh, whatever. You are, you're, cutting off a lifeline you're cutting off a chunk of somebody's family lifeline that they can't never get back let's say young Dolph didn't have kids that whole piece of his life his lifeline his family was cut off prematurely by a human being it's cut off like he was wiped out the history books by a man and people don't understand that because we so desensitized to it it's it's the music it's the entertainment it's the movies it's the video games bro all that shit that we've been invested in i'm we ain't perfect i'm i'm, I'm in all that we've lost humanity man we lost the humanity you know what i'm saying and you know it's tragic you know what i'm saying people lost somebody today you know we got a lot of people who enjoy his music from memphis like the article just said too they knew him personally high school people people in high school knew him that probably hit them deep you know what i'm saying he donating to them schools so you know it's tragic for one second thing i wanted to say uh premeditated or not we not going to get into that. We not going to get into that. Who knows if it was premeditated or, or not. We can't say. The police don't even know. So, let's 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 before we go into being investigators. I am an investigative journalist, but I investigate what is seen, not as not what I investigate what has been accurately reported. If it if it, if there's no if there's no lead, where where can I go be look where can I where can I look? So before I I, I become an investigator, I want to make sure the police do their job first. So let's let's make let's let the police do their job. Then we get to say then we get to uh, make an assessment from there. So if it was premeditated or not, who knows? But, but one thing we do know is, uh, 
from how those pictures of them suspects looked, them was some experienced shooters, man. Them was some exper experienced shooters. How the, how 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 the pictures was looking, you know, you know they they were sweatpants up, shirt up, hooded up, hood up, masked up, gloves up. You know what I'm saying? They 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 were experienced shooting. I I probably don't know. They killed a person before. I don't know, but they definitely have shot a person before. So they this is definitely some street shit. This was not no. Uh. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we ain't gonna get into we ain't gonna get into premeditated or not. But what we do know is those people were experienced and they they wanted to they wanted to um end his life for sure. So um yeah. Now we wanna get into the reactions of this this uh tragedy, you know. Not just because it's a rapper, of course. This is a human being, like I said. So we not even gonna mention his music or his fan base or any of that. But we will later. Uh the reactions, you know. Um uh, his cousin, fellow Memphis rapper Key Glock. Like I said, I don't listen to him either, but I got a couple of songs in my playlist of them together too. Uh, he deactivated all of his social media, and that was smart. That was smart, man. He don't, I don't, if I'm somebody, if I'm on a, if I'm a celebrity, and my cousin is a celebrity, and my cousin just got murdered, I damn sure don't want to, want everybody in my business. You know what I'm saying? Because people do a disservice trying to support you in the morning Especially if you're a celebrity in the morning of a, in the morning of a, of a, um, uh, passed on family member. You know what I'm saying? So, it's hella examples of that. For one, the Kobe Bryant shit. That shit made me so mad, bro. Like, <laughs> that shit made me so mad. People was going so hard. Like, so hard. And not only that. I know people that hated Kobe Bryant and switched up and switched up, bro. Like, I'm no big Kobe Bryant fan, but uh, it was just too much, man. It was just too much, man. Like, they was, I'm like, bro, like, I wonder, I don't know how they think because they all in Hollywood, so. But I'm pretty sure if I was a family member of Kobe Bryant, so I sure don't be one of no fanboys doing that weird ass shit after trying to mourn him or whatever they trying to do. So you know what I'm saying. So, but uh, I found out about this all about this the same time everybody else found out around one o'clock Wednesday. You know what I'm saying. I was finna, I was sitting down, sitting down, looking at my phone, sitting down, finna, uh, looking at my phone, getting prepared to eat. Scroll on, you know, social media, you know what I'm saying? And I saw it. I was like, damn. For, wait, I saw one person post it. I saw one person post it. And I'm like, hold on. I'm on, let, let's, let's wait for a little minute because I don't even know if this shit true or not. So I, I just uh, kept scrolling, you know, refreshing shit, waiting to see some other people post it. You know, I ain't see it for no little minute. Then as I'm keep scrolling, then I see other people posting it. Then I see other people posting it. And then I saw this first, this video of this dude. He was like, man, ain't no way they just pulled up on Young Dolph like that. They just killed Dolph. And that's why I saw that. I'm like, oh, yeah, this, this is probably real. And, and man... I follow, and that it's 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 unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not gonna say it's a. Let's scrap all the. I mean, it is tragic for their family. It is tragic for their family. For his family, of course, it's tragic. But for everybody else, it's not tragic. It's unfortunate. It's definitely unfortunate. And because 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 it's unfortunate because. You know, I follow him casually, and he seemed to be talking some business shit, some big ball shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he definitely was looking for generational wealth in his family, and fortunately for them, 
he uh he he accumulated general wealth. He's accumulated generational wealth for his family because he owns his masters. But them getting generational wealth in this circumstance is definitely not ideal for any family. So let let's set the record straight on that, man. Uh, next thing I want to get into, man, the fucking tabloid news, bro. The tabloid news. I'm a journalist, you know. We we got a uh by the book way of doing things, you know what I'm saying. But sometimes, man, you gotta muck it up, you know what I'm saying. If you adhere to the uh, ethics and the rules. Uh, on a pure fundamental level of journalism, some way you can you can bend the rules a little bit. You can show some little creativity. So sometimes you gotta get a little dirty and go to the tabloid news because there's a lot of accurate stuff about a lot of people in tabloid news. But at the same time, tabloid news can just jump off the cliff with things because tabloid news it's not it's not journalism. It's basically like you know. It's no, you know, it's like Chatty Patty. That's the only thing I can, can I can, uh, you know, describe it as. It's like a Chatty Patty session. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, uh, one of the things that I saw after that, like, I'm still eating. I saw, um, people reporting that black youngster grandma house got shot up i'm like bro what are y'all for real and i seen journalists reporting this fake conspiracy street shit this fake conspiracy street shit guy and Boy, blue checks. I seen blue check journalists reporting this shit. Wrestling black youngster fucking oh grandma house got shot up, bro. And that shit was not true. So whoever believed that shit, I'm telling you now, that shit ain't true, okay? Don't believe that dumbass fake street conspiracy shit. You got street dudes to believe in that dumbass shit. So and whoever whoever uh whatever journalists reported that they should be fired for uh malpractice because they just egging on street shit instead of reporting accurate shit like that shit didn't even happen you just put another person in this that didn't have nothing to do with this we don't even know yet the police don't even know yet so you just incriminating dudes basically she should be fired and the people who believe that shit the street dudes that believe that shit you not street if you do believe that shit, because we don't know who did this shit. It's a possibility, but you don't say somebody did it. And then you don't put no retaliation on somebody. Somebody who you don't even know who did it on a people crib. Hey, that shit crazy. Like, that's that's one of the things I saw. It, it was just like something that just threw me off, bro. Because, like, we see these things when people die, bro. We see a lot of... Conspiracy theories. Conspir I, I hate using that term, but I hate using the term conspiracy theories because most, most conspiracy theories be very real. But I consider a conspiracy theory something that's off the wall. That some cannot be substantiated. Like, it has no lead. Where can we start from? And we can start from something on the conspiracy theories people think I adhere to. But And we're going to get into some as I record some more of these videos. <clears throat> Next thing, man, I want to go to the Soldier Boy beef. We're going to talk a little bit about this Soldier Boy beef. So, it was like a week or so ago. Uh, well, it was it was a while ago actually. Uh, it might have. It was a week or so ago when Soldier Boy responded to it. But uh, not too long ago, probably like a month or so ago, Key Glock was uh y'all know soldier boy been viral since like 29 went re-viral again revitalized his whole career in like 2019 and he just got out of prison for like a couple of months or so maybe a year or so i don't know not too long ago and he didn't got he didn't got a it went viral again you know with his uh music and stuff so you know he went picked off right where he started so key glock 
you know, you know, doing what people do, you know, he was poking like fun at Soldier Boy saying, I was the first one to do this, to do this, to do, to, uh, he was reporting, no, nah, he was promoting his, uh, new album, Yellow Tape 2, I think, it's called, I don't I think it's an album, but it's called Yellow Tape 2, I don't know, I don't listen to him, so, but, uh, <clears throat> I did see this on Instagram, though. He had this 3D, like, billboard. He said I was the first rapper to have a uh, 3D billboard. You know, he was mocking Soldier Boy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, nothing but some harmless trolling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, two weeks, a couple weeks later, like a week or so ago, uh, Soldier Boy responded. And he was, like, saying... Uh, I was the first rapper to be really, I think he said something like this. I was the first rapper to be really independent, to be 100% independent. And he was basically saying, you know, uh, exposing Young Dolph and Key Glock for not being independent because they signed by Empire. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, man, uh, he did that. He did that, and, you know, we didn't get no, uh, oh, and that led to, uh, you know, you got, it's a lot of Soldier Boy haters, you know. I, I personally fuck with Soldier Boy, bro, because I grew up on him, bro. I saw this dude change the world, bro. He don't get his respect, bro. I seen this dude change the world just with his imagination, bro, and his internet savviness. And, bro, he just be ahead of the curve on so much shit. You know how many rappers he put on. You know how many situations where he was the first to do it. He was the pioneer of it. If you know shit, how he can just always be back. And he's like the king. He's like one of the pioneers of the internet, but he will always be relevant. You know, but he, you got to stop comparing him to other people. Soldier Boy, he's up there. He don't got to be popular, but he, his clout is high in the industry. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, after that happened, you know, you got some, some of they guys, some of the PRE, you know, they was DMing Soldier Boy, threatening them. They like, okay, you a funny dude, but this going too far. Like, I mean, no, no, no. This, uh, no, 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 no. I just skipped a piece. After that, we didn't really get a response yet, uh, from Key Glock. Then, uh, Young yeah, Dolph passed. Young yeah, Dolph passed. And, uh, Soldier Boy was basically like, uh, Soldier Boy was basically, he wasn't shit. He wasn't budging. I mean, he wasn't saying shit about the death of Young Dolph. And he. He was, ba I seen some of his lies. He was basically saying, like, what y'all want me to say? Like, these niggas was just, these niggas threatening me in my DMs and shit, telling me they gonna pull up and do all this and, and whatever. And shit. Y'all think I'm finna be all empathetic? Because y'all big homies just died. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, uh, shit, yeah, that just sounds stupid. It just sounds stupid. And, uh, trolling just somehow turned into a never ended beef. It's a cycle of beef. And I, while I understand why Soldier, where he's coming from, bro, he's, bro, Soldier Boy too smart for this, bro. Like, this some, I mean, he too. While he is too smart, while he is too smart, he's also you know he embraced that thug culture. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, he gonna feed into it. He should just he should just be leaving it alone. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, because now this is just about to keep going and keep going and you know, like I said, he keep like deactivated his stuff, but he's going on with. He's going back and forth with other P, uh, PRE associates in his uh in his DM. So uh, I just thought now you got people on the commenters because I do it in the comments. You know, they saying Soldier Boy, uh, Soldier Boy, uh, he lame for this. There's people that saying I stand with Soldier. 
You know, now you got people just feeding into this never-ending cycle of beef, bro. This never, you got the shit that's happening in the real world, and you got the shit that's being leached off that, that's being put on the internet, that's people peeking sides to make sure, that make them feel like they part of the streets, you know what I'm saying? So, that's that's a whole cycle that's finna keep going on, bro. And Soldier Boy also said, uh, what else, what else did he say? He was like, uh, damn, he said something else. Uh, I forgot what else he was saying. We're going to get back to it, man. But another thing that I wanted to mention was about us as a people, us as quote unquote black people. One of the most, one of the, one thing I've noticed in my 20, almost 23 years of living is one of the most, one of the things that black people get more passionately invested in more than anything, one of the main things is death. Like, we love death, bro. It's like a never ending cycle, bro. I see it. It'd it be so crazy, like, it just be so crazy uh, how all all things, all situations can occur in the process of something ensuing, and everybody just tolerate it. You know what I'm saying? Until something happens, and then it's like they shocked. Like it's like a. It's like these open skeletons that people don't want to acknowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like, we love death. Like, the music we listen to. I don't want to be, I don't want to sound, I hate this term old head, bro. I mean, yes, it, it is relative in some instances, but most of the time when people use old head, it's a derogatory term to us old people. And I think when most people use the term, bro, uh, they just look stupid because the older people are the smarter people because they have the more life experience. So, uh, I use old head in the terms of somebody who just stuck in the past and just willingly antiquated in life and not uh, willing to, you know, adapt. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but we love death and it's just like a it's crazy, man. Ah, uh, but uh, damn, where was I going with that old head shit? Uh, I don't want to sound like an old head, but the music we listen to, man, it's not, it's not what hip hop started off as, bro. I don't, I, I, bro, I got, I love music. I love music and. The music I listen to is vast, bro. It's hella vast. But, you know, I listen to the murder, murder, kill shit sometimes too, man. But it get boring sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I be wanting to listen to some vibey shit, some Pierre Bourne, you know, some Playboy Cardi, you know. Some, you know, some soulful shit. Sometimes he hurt, bro, but even sometimes he get a little bit overwhelming. But, uh... Yeah, man, I don't be wanting to listen to that shit some all the time, bro, because that shit cast spells on people, bro. I know people, I know people that get consumed by the music they listen to, bro. That shit is spell casting, bro. They go all the way back to biblical times, bro. So, we just got to stop manifesting shit. We manifest death, bro, in our music, bro. Like, motherfuckers went dying back when my granny and shit, my granny, my granny my granddad my dad and my mom was well my mom she was born in like the 70s well even then they weren't they weren't preaching that shit so motherfuckers really weren't dying at the rate that they die now in our community so yeah we just gotta stop we be manifesting it and just be acting like shocked as hell they don't want to say nothing but we'll march and preach march and preach when fucking a white person kill us putting them on Putting them on a pedestal. We'll we'll give a fuck about um white on white crime and a white person getting off. 
with a crime, which we gonna get into in a later video. But we'll put people on pedestals in a situation like that. We'll put the white person on the pedestal when they kill them, but we won't persecute the black person that just took somebody out of our community. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into the putting on pedestals part of this, man. We'll, we gotta stop putting people on pedestals, bro. Black people love putting, having idols. They love having idols, bro. This is why, this is why God don't be, that's why we in the situation we are, bro. Come on, man. We got to read the Bible, bro. Let's stop being idolaters, man. Yes, it was too unfortunate. Hella unfortunate what happened to young Dolph. But we got to stop. We got to stop turning these people into deities, man. You know, I, I follow a lot of Instagram pages. And some of the Instagram pages I be following are tabloid. St. Louis news sites. I, I consider them tabloid because they got, not because they, not necessarily because they don't have uh, journalism degrees, but it's an approach they go by. And it's a very high schoolish approach, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? That chatty patty shit. But like I said, sometimes it be true. But some of this shit just be ghetto and just be like, I would just be like, damn. Sometimes I be leaving a comment under this shit. I, I ain't gonna be too disrespectful, to her, but I be I say something funny. But uh, something I saw on one of these St. Louis tabloid news shops, news sites was how somewhere in St. Louis they're having a candlelight. They're having a candlelight for a young Dolph in St. Louis, bro. Really? Like, really, bro? What, what, what? What, really, bro? Y'all having a candle? Like, who, who set this shit up, bro? Who set this shit up, bro? Like, for one, you don't know Young Dolph. Two, he's not that big as you think he is. I'm not trying to, that's not to demean him. He was big, but he's not global. He's not a Michael Jackson. He's not a two bob. You know what I'm saying? Three, this wasn't even in St. Louis. This was in Memphis. Like, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, we love death, bro. We don't come together for shit but a fucking candlelight, bro. We don't come together for nothing but bad shit, bro. And to make a deity, to make another deity, motherfuckers finna, just like they did Nipsey Hussle, who not even fucking black. Nipsey Hussle, who not black, I don't give a fuck. If you look into his history, his origin, us, me, me, you, your sisters, your brothers, Nipsey Hussle is not black. Just like they did with Nipsey Hussle, just like they did with Kobe Bryant, just like they did with Mo3. They make these people deities. They having a fucking candlelight in a city that he ain't even dying, bro. So, shit is crazy, man. Uh... It's not cool what happened in this situation uh, on the suspects and, and the people that's making this a big old ritual, a reoccurring ritual. All those people, the murderers, the people, that's, the idolaters, they need to be reformed or they got to go. The murderers, they got to go anyway. But the idolaters... That's like a disease too. It's almost it's almost to the extent some of them got sense, but some of them just they they off the they, they fell off the cliff. They gotta go too. But some of them need to some of them can be reformed. You know? So that's my that's my take on it, man. Uh it was unfortunate what happened to him, bro. I feel it's terrible for his family. Uh, I read a post where his uh, wife said she still haven't even told her kids what happened. I I couldn't even imagine that, bro. I couldn't even imagine. I can't imagine it. It's crazy, man. So if y'all want, I want y'all to, man, share your thoughts below in the comments, bro. That's all I got for y'all tonight on this one. 
I gotta head to this game real quick, bro. But this is a video I wanted to do. I wanted to be correct. I didn't want to be first because, you know, people love being first in this instant gratifications uh, society that we live in, bro. So I like to be right. You know, I, I like to add a little more flavor <laughs> to it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Show your thoughts below in the comment section, man. Hit the like button, bro. Hit the like button. Share. Uh, Share this. Share it with people, man. I don't want this to get out because we got a lot of bullshit around this situation and a lot of bullshit, bullshit things that, uh, that are under and over this situation. So I want people to see this, man. Share it. Subscribe to my channel, man, if you're watching. It's a decent amount of percentage of people that's watching my stuff that's not subscribed to me, man. So subscribe, bro, if you want to see my stuff on a consistent basis, because I will be posting some more stuff. If I um, hit the notification bell when you do, I'm going to try to uh, drop some more videos uh, this coming week. I'm going back home for Thanksgiving break. You know, it's Thanksgiving, of course. My birthday is going to be on that following Sunday, so... I'm going to be doing stuff with family and my chick. So, you know, uh, if I don't, enjoy your holiday, man. Stay up. And I'm out.